Right now at 11, a tragic story out of West Haven. Four people are dead following a horrific overnight crash. Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us on Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Brian Reed. Two others are seriously hurt following the crash involving a wrong way driver on I-95. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Cerullo has the latest from police and what's being done to curb wrong way driving. The highway is back open, but the investigation into this crash is just getting started. It happened, we're told, because the driver ignored one of these big red signs. A tow truck takes away one of three cars involved in this horrific crash, mangled beyond recognition. State police say a pickup truck was heading north on 95 South when it crashed into a Nissan Altima in the left lane. The pickup truck ended up in the middle lane, crashing into a Nissan Sentra. The wrong way driver died. So did three people in the Nissan Altima. The two people in the Nissan Sentra are in the hospital fighting for their lives. We want these crashes to stop. We do not need to see any more of these. According to Josh Morgan with the Connecticut Department of Transportation, this is our state's third deadly wrong way crash since the start of the new year. Including this wreck, seven lives have been claimed. Right now, Morgan says the agency is installing new technology on the state's most dangerous off-ramps in an effort to curb wrong-way drivers. There are 27 ramps in Connecticut that have the wrong-way detection uh, technology installed. Uh, that number will be over 100 by the end of 2024. When the system detects a wrong-way driver, it activates flashing lights and alerts state police. Here it is in action, stopping this car heading the wrong way onto 691 in Meriden back in December. We're working as hard and as fast as we can to get this technology on as many ramps as possible. As for the crash that happened here in West Haven, police have not yet released the names of anyone involved. As soon as we have any updates, we'll let you know both on air and online. But for now, in West Haven, Mike Cirillo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.